Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. It's time for day eight. Let's see if I can get that camera right. Hope you guys are having a good week. It's Tuesday. It's not Friday yet. It's Tuesday. All right, let's see. All right, I'm in the right place. All right, good. I don't want to hear myself. Don't you hate that when you hear yourself on, on video or camera? It's, it's never what you think. <laughs> okay, today we are making two projects using the Sweet Little Stockings bundle. This is one of my favorites, um, and I'm sure lots of you have loved this. Um, I can tell you when I think about this, this stamp set, I go back to July when we were in Maui on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip, and my friend Rhonda and I were sitting by the pool looking through the brand new catalog. I mean, like heaven, take me back. Um, and this one, as soon as I saw it, we both were like, oh my God. So this one stands out to me big time from the very beginning. Um, it's just really cute. If you're a dog person, a cat person, or even a guinea pig person, <laughs> you're going to like this set. Um, it also has that really nice, um, this label, I guess, this tag die. And we're going to use that to make our 3D project today, which is actually a little dog house treat box. All right. All right. Good. It's good to see you guys. Hello. Hello. Um, uh, let's see. I thought I had a couple of things to tell you, but I guess I don't. Oh, today is the last day to register for that calendar class over there. Um, I am already working on it. Um, so cutoff is strict cutoff is tonight. Um, if you need that link, please email me, um, or look back in your email, um, because I've sent it out numerous times. Uh, second thing is the last chance list. And I meant to look it up today before we went live to see what was new, what has sold out, because as you guys know, everything is while well, supplies last. So make sure you're checking that out. Um, the third thing I want to tell you is that this week, instead of doing free make and takes, because quite honestly, you guys, I am taking next week off. I am going to be, I'm not going to come in this office one time, hopefully. Um, I'd like to take it off. So I'm not going to cut free make and takes next week, but I've put together something that I think you're going to like. Um, I'm going to send everybody who orders $50 or more between today and Christmas or when I run out which I'll tell you in a second. I'm gonna send you this little gift bundle. It's got one of my little personalized um, oven mitts. If you got the retreat to go, this is this was one of the pillow, bo uh, pillow gifts in the box. I ordered extra because they were so cute. Um, you're gonna get a pack of 10 cards and a pack of the, do you guys recognize that? The elusive bedazzle paper from Celebration. So an order over $50 will earn this for you, just one. Um, I have limited number. So I think I have enough to last us through Christmas at least. But if for some reason I run out and I get more orders, I will announce that on Facebook and let you know that that giveaway is over. Um, but I feel pretty certain that we have enough to go all the way through Christmas. So if you want to put in another order between now and then, um, maybe you need some cardstock, adhesive, um, you want to get one last thing from the last chance list or the clearance rack, make sure to use the new host code that you'll see when I flip the camera over. It's also on today's blog post. And the last week of December, I'll be mailing little, little gifts like this that look like this out to everybody who orders. All right. Okay. So that's that. So today we are doing sweet little stockings. Tomorrow, what are we doing? Arctic bears. Then Marius Moments, which, hello, Marius Moments. How did I overlook that bundle the, this entire time? I literally cracked it open for the first time to make the projects for this. And I'm very mad that I waited so long. It's a beautiful bundle. It actually has an embossing folder and dies in the bundle. But anyway, that'll be Thursday. And then Friday, Delivering Cheer. I have one project left to design. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Friday, I'm going to be showing you some sneak peeks from the spring catalog along with the delivery and cheer stamp set. Okay, so that's the schedule for this week. Um, how about prizes? Um, 
this week during my 12 days of Christmas series, I'm doing prizes different. There's a link at the bottom of today's blog post, kind of in the last paragraph. And if you click on that, it'll take you over and ask you a question. I don't remember what today's question was and I typed it up this morning, but you just answer a silly Christmas question. Give me your mailing address. And then tomorrow before my next Facebook live, I will pick a random winner to send you a prize. So yesterday's random winner is Nydia. Detrell, Nydia, I have your mailing address, but you also gave it to me yesterday when you filled out the form. She's getting the Arctic Bears bundle. So thank you for playing, Nydia. I appreciate that. That will go out tomorrow. Today, I have a really good one. You ready? Great tidings. Remember, it sold out, but I have one to give away. So make sure you go over to my blog, click that link to register to win. I have a hard time even letting go of it. It's not mine. I have my own, but it's now it's, you know, you can't buy it. Anyways, that'll be tomorrow's prize. I wanted to show you guys also, I found the box yesterday. Look at all the things we've made. And today is what? Day eight? Eight, nine, ten. No, today's day nine. Um, I have locked the dogs out and now they're scratching at the door. Um, look at all the things that we've made. A ton. And I found yesterday's box. Remember, I couldn't find yesterday's box. It was, here's the original. It was in the other room where I have all the little um, candy and stuff. I had set it down to pull out the marshmallows and then I never picked it up, but I found it. Yay. Okay, so make sure you go back and look at all the previous projects that we've done because we have done a ton. Okay, now, oh, Nitty, I'm glad you're here. Yay, good. Um, so today we're gonna make two projects using the Sweet Little Stockings bundle. We used this bundle during Club Create, I think it was September, is it September? Yeah, September Club Create. So I also have a PDF with five projects in it um, that also has a 30 minute video embedded within the PDF. Um, whenever I do a class or a club, I type up the PDF and I put it in my PDF store. So after today's projects, if you need more ideas, I have a PDF that has four cards and a gift tag box that has cute little gift tags. We used the um, that tag die to make um, gift tags, which is a really fun way to use that die. So if you're looking for more ideas, you can find that PDF in my PDF store. I'll hopefully remember to add the link um, here, here, here when I'm done with the video. That way, if you want to go buy that PDF, you can. It's $15 and it's immediately emailed to you. Um, so the, that's five, six, seven, eight more projects for you if you need more inspiration, okay? Okay, and I, let's see, this card right here, well, I'm gonna hold it because that's the second project. I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, we're ready. Let me flip you guys around. Let me just flip you guys around. It's a little crazy here. My housekeeper is here, so if you guys hear the vacuum, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I will never apologize for letting her, having her come and do amazing things. I, I could not do what I do without her. She's amazing. Um, and then my daughter is upstairs, my oldest daughter. She actually came home from college last night. Um, I thought she was done, but then she told me today she has another final <laughs> at two o'clock. And I thought, okay, I guess you can do finals at home these days, um, which is pretty awesome, if you ask me. Um, so she was excited to be home. We're excited to have her home, of course. All right, are you guys ready? Let's see, make sure you guys are all there. All right, very good. I'm tired today. I'm tired but we will survive. We will survive. You know, getting up five o'clock every morning for basketball practice, it makes a mama tired, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, so this is the first card we're gonna make. Now, I told you guys that I colored my dog to look like Pepper. Um, let's see, can I zoom in? Every time I try to zoom in, it doesn't work. Oh, well that worked, maybe. Um, I colored my dog to look like Pepper. Um, I posted a picture of Pepper 
today on my blog, if you have never seen Pepper, um, she is a part black party schnauzer and half her face is black and the other half is white so I colored my dog to look like her but you guys can color your dog to look like whichever dog you want okay I've done a lot of things ahead of time um, because this card has a lot of steps one thing it does feature are those seasonal swirl dyes which are sold out I know um, those were good those were good ones um, you know what I didn't replace did I look this is the wrong one and I print, I put that down new, I thought. Okay, wait, hold on, hold please. Here's the new host code. That's so weird. I swear I just taped that down. Maybe I didn't. Um, if you missed the beginning of the video, remember we're doing different, we're not doing free make and takes this, this week. We're doing a free gift bundle. And you'll have to go back and watch the replay to see it. Or maybe I'll show it again at the beginning. Let's see. Maybe you guys can't even see it. I don't know. Now that I've zoomed in, probably not. All right. Well, anyway, sorry. I was distracted. We're going to color all of our things first. Um, I've actually already stamped them all. You want to stamp them in memento black. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can adjust this just a little bit. You want to stamp them in memento black because we're going to color with stamp and blends. You can obviously color these however you want. Um, but I'm going to use Stampin' Blends because you know I love Stampin' Blends. Um, and look, I'm only using, well, three colors plus the, the basic black to add some dots to Pepper's face. Um, I, when I have a lot of coloring to do, I like to stamp it all at the beginning, color it all, all at once, and then done. You know, instead of doing one little bit, then cutting it out, do another little bit, cutting it out. I feel like if you do all of the same things together, I guess you kind of cluster your work tasks, especially if you're doing, um, you know, you're making a bunch of the same cards. Then I say stamp all of the stuff at the beginning, sit down and color them all at the same time and then cut them out. All right, so I'm just using my dark real red here. I'm not gonna do any shading, so I'm just gonna stick with the dark. All right, um, then I'm gonna come over here to my stocking. This cute little set has three sizes of stocking. I'm using the smallest one so that it'll fit on the wreath. Okay. My marker is almost out. I need to get a new one. There we go. All right. Now let's do a little pepper. And again, I know you guys are probably like, that's a really weird way to color your dog, Erica. But you need to go over to my blog, Pink Buckaroo. Actually, I'm going to use the dark. Pinkbuckaroo.com if you don't know my blog. And check out the picture of Pepper with my mom's dog, Millie, who's a corgi. We'll be using a corgi on the next project, and you'll see that she's got very unique markings. Um, and you know, the sky's the limit on these animals. Color them, oops, wrong end, color them to look like your dog or another dog or whatever. Just do whatever. This is basic black. I'm gonna add in some spots for all her spots. And I forgot to color our Santa hat. Now the Santa hat and the gift are for the next project. But like I said, let's get it all done here at the beginning. There we go. All right. Now for the stocking. I can't see comments. Um, hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to use Light Daffodil Delight. Okay, and I think back in maybe August or September, the artisan design team did a blog hop featuring this bundle. Gosh, I need new Daffodil Delight markers too. And one of them added texture to her stockings. And I was like, oh my gosh, I never would have thought of that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take these little stars and stamp them. You can mask off your um, stocking if you feel like you need to, 
But if you stamp that Daffodil Delight Star over the red, it's not going to show up. So I don't worry about it too much. Now up here, obviously, if you're going to stamp, if you need to stamp it and it's going to touch that white, then you definitely want to mask it with some post-it tape or a um, post-it note. Pepper's, she is not going to let me. <laughs> oh no, look. My Wing of Stella picked up that red. So now we have a little bit of pink in our hat. That's okay, because you know what? I've already actually colored all of them and cut them out. But make sure when you do your Wink of Stella, you guys probably can't really see it. When you do your Wink of Stella, it will pick up the color. It's like a water painter. Okay, Pepper, okay. What? No, Mac. No, you can't come. It's actually Mac, not Pepper. All right, so once you get these colored, you're gonna get the dyes. And they all have matching dyes. We have the stocking, the candy cane, the gift, the hat, and the dog. All right, so yay, no fussy cutting. And yay, I've already done it ahead of time. Just trying to make things go a little faster. Mac, stop, buddy. <laughs> he's, he's being a nuisance. He's usually so good. He's like, I can't see you. You shut the door. Why did you shut the door? All right. Um, first, let's do this. I cut out a um, stitched rectangle from craft or craft paper. And this stamp set has the cutest little stitching, um, little X's. Now, I know that our stitched rectangle already has stitching, but let's add some more. So I'm just going to take my white and go along the inside of the stitching. I'm not gonna worry too much about how straight or not straight it is. Okay, because it's handmade. It's not meant to be perfect. <laughs> Mac, I have nothing for you. Go, go, go see Ellie. All right, now let me wipe that up before I get that on something, because you know I will. All right, now let's layer it up. I have a um, seasonal label, basic white, and we're gonna put that right in the center of our, actually not on the center, we're gonna put it off centered like this, all right like that. Now these, I have cut them, cut them out from um, Mossy Meadow and Old Olive and Pear Pizzazz. And as you guys know, I love the adhesive sheets. So I put adhesive sheets on the back before I cut them out so that we don't have to deal with the liquid glue. All right, so I'm gonna put that one down there. And then we'll do, let's do the next one. And you know, if you put two strips in the middle of your paper, when you cut it out, you actually have a split there that helps you pull that paper off. Um, if you think about it, sometimes I don't think about it, but if you think about it, do that because it just really makes peeling off the uh, backing of your adhesive really a whole lot easier. Okay, so there's that one. And <laughs> can you guys hear him? He's standing outside the door now going, mm, mm. I guess because I always give him like a little chew thing before I go live. And he's like, hey lady, you didn't give us our toy, our cookie today. The other two are up there with Ellie, so they don't even know. But the old man is down here like, hey, hey lady. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna layer all of these. This is last, we're gonna put old olive. Like that. I like to really put a lot of them on there to make it a real full wreath. All right, now let's get a dimensional. And this dog, if you put your dimensional like that and then take your dog and just stick it right at the top 
like that, then he's in the right place. See how I did that? And then you can add a couple more. I think I forgot my ribbon. I'm gonna have to go get my ribbon. And you know what? I cut out two candy canes. Did we use two candy canes? Uh-oh, did I not cut out the present? You know, here I was all like, oh, I did such a good job. I know I cut that present out, but I must have lost it, unless it's under here. Nope, that's for the next project. Um, Let's use some liquid glue. Uh-oh, I have two over here, and I know one of them doesn't work. Oh, it's not this one, yay. All right. A hundred pound Great Dane who cries my, oh my gosh, Nancy, that is hilarious. I know it's not hilarious to you. I know, I know. <laughs> but it does make me feel a little bit better. Why is it that when we're on a Zoom call, the dogs and the cats, boy, I've seen a lot of cats on Zoom calls too, feel like, oh, it's time for me to get their attention. They do, they totally do. And kids, my kids always wanna like go out the front door, make a commotion when I'm on a Zoom or a Facebook Live. Now, one thing I did different here, um, originally on my original card, you'll see there's smaller stars. I cut out, there's another wreath in this die set that has stars on it. And I cut that wreath out and cut the stars off of it. But then I realized this die set has a star die. So I was like, hello, why don't we use that instead? So that's what I did. It was a little bit easier. All right, let me grab my ribbon. Oh, maybe I'm out of my ribbon. Huh. Okay, hold on. I may have some more over here. Oh, yeah, right here. My favorite ribbon. The black and white gingham and we will put that we'll make that a bow and a mini glue dot hey you guys the mini glue dots were unorderable until today they they're back in stock if you were waiting for glue dots like I was they weren't supposed to be back in until the 20th of December, which I was kind of freaking out about because I needed some. And then today I saw, yay, they're back in stock. So if you need them, you can order them. Okay, oh, where can I get this? We're gonna add a little bit of design, a little bit of texture to the back of this, um, the card base. And I think what we will do is take some post-it tape. You can use the lines on your grid paper to help you line things up. You guys know you can order grid paper. It's not just a demo thing. Everybody can order grid paper. And I love grid paper. I love it. All right, there we go. Now, blending brush, little real red. Look how messy my red is. <laughs> Do y'all's red ink pads look like that? Red and Blackberry. They are the messy, messy, messy inks. All right, I'm just going to add some color really around the border because most of what we just did is going to cover up that border. I mean, cover up the center, not the border. The border is the only thing that's going to be seen is what I'm trying to say. All right. This is the, from the basic patterns masks. All right, now be careful with that mask because now it has that red ink all over it. Let's put this way over here, out of the way. Okay, now bring back our other little piece, a few more dimensionals. And we will put that right there. All right, now, you notice I didn't eat, put a sentiment on the inside. I'm gonna stamp my sentiment on this little stitched 
I mean, I didn't put a sentiment on the outside. I am so distracted by my dog. <laughs> um, I didn't put the sentiment on the outside. I'm going to put it on the inside. And I'm stamping it on just a cute little white stitched rectangle, which is like the perfect size for that Santa Paws is coming to town. Right. Let's go over a little bit. Right there. And done. So cute. Polka dots, gingham, puppies, candy canes. I mean, what else could you ask for? <laughs> what else could you possibly want on a card? All right. So there we go. We've got that. And now I've got, I've got one more project for you. And... I can't believe I lost a little present. I'm going to have to cut that one out. I was so prepared. Unless maybe it's on here. Did it fly off somewhere? Oh, maybe. Maybe. I thought ahead. and I did. It's over here on this tray. Yay. So maybe I did have it together this morning at 530 when I was in here working. <laughs> All right. So now here's what we're going to make. We're going to use that little tag that I showed you to make this little treat box. And you could put anything you want in here. You could even make this a dog treat box. You know, if you have a friend um, who has dogs or whatever, you could tie up the little dog treats in a little cello bag, put a bow on it, and there you have it. Um, I was inspired basically by this card. This is the card we made for Club Create um, with this little house. And I thought we need to make a box for that, right? It's so easy. Let me show you what we're gonna do. All right, I've got everything already done. The little corgi and the golden retriever, uh oh, now I hear Pepper, um, are from the designer series paper. I'm looking for my notebook, hold on, here it is. I cut those from the designer series paper. That does require some fussy cutting. But if you don't want to do that, you could always, you know, stamp and use your dies. Okay, so you're going to cut out two of these shapes right here and from Real Red. Um, this, the card is Cherry Cobbler because the DSP has Cherry Cobbler. Um, I guess he has a Cherry Cobbler vest, but whatever. It's fine um, <laughs> because he doesn't have to match. All right, I'm going to have to do something about that. Hold on. Oh, Pepper. Nope, you're not coming in here. Here, let me just give you something. Hold on. Here. Now that's it. Go, Matt. You have yours. Go on. Thank you. You're worse than kids. Worse than kids, those three. <laughs> okay. Now, is my piece of paper not straight? Kind of looks crooked, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, two and a half by nine and three fourths. Um, we're going to score the long side at three and three fourths and six. No, that's not right. Oh, don't tell me I did this wrong. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's check. Let's check. This is what happens. It is too short. See? It's too short. Okay, let me get another piece. Let's see what length it needs to be. It's got to be two and three fourths wide. Okay. And we know it needs to be three and three fourths. And then the middle part needs to be six. So that is two and a fourth. So this side right here needs to be three and three fourths. So one, two, three and three fourths. I did say nine and three fourths. Is my pa was my paper wrong? It was eight and three fourths. That's why. All right, so let me cut that off. My measurements were correct. My paper was not. Okay, so we've got <laughs> three and three fourths and six, and then half an inch by, and, mm -mm, that's not right either, two and a fourth. Now that one is wrong, two and a fourth. I'll fix it. You know, I tell you guys this every day. I did these projects a long time ago. 
I've slept many times since then. It's very hard to remember what I did and what I didn't do. <laughs> so nine and three fours by, what did we say? Um, two and a half. And then the only thing that's wrong is that last short score line needs to be two and a fourth. All right, so cut a V right here on those score lines, okay? And then you wanna cut the corners off there like that. And then a V and a V like that. Boop, boop. Um, you guys, this is off topic. For many, 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 many years, I've made something at Christmas called what we lovingly call crack corn. Some of you are familiar, right? You know what I'm talking about. We use the Chester's puff corn. You guys know? Well, I can't find the Chester's puff corn anywhere. Nowhere. I've been, I've been many, many stores. So either some of my local friends have all bought it up because they got my recipe <laughs> and now there's none left or there's a shortage. I don't know. Shirley Chester's didn't stop making it. All right, we're going to do this the right way, Erica. Here, here, straight line, right? We're gonna line that up right there. So if any of my local friends or any of you have found Chester's butter puff corn, can't be cheese. You don't want cheese in your caramel corn. Please let me know where you found it because I can't find it. Usually you have good luck finding it like at the gas station. I know that sounds weird, but if you can't find it at the grocery store, I always say go to Dollar General. Are there Dollar Generals anymore? There are, right? All of our do Dollar Generals have turned into Dollar Trees. Um, and Dollar Tree does not have it, but Dollar General always had it. I don't know. Okay, now take this one. See what I'm doing here? Making a U with that box. And then we're gonna take that and lay that right there. And there's your box. Isn't that easy? So easy. Now this little shape right here is also from this die set. Okay, so just cut that. It's just a door, little door. Then you're gonna get two pieces of basic black. Walmart, Andrea, I haven't found it at Walmart. I have looked. You saw it today, Rebecca. Okay, okay, so then that means it's they're still making it. All of my local friends, you're in trouble. You bought it all. I When I was at Walmart, I went to a little local Walmart, little, like a neighborhood Walmart. Do you guys have those? On Sunday. And literally all the ingredients I needed to make it were out. There was no, um, the white drizzle, you know, the white, oh, it's not white chocolate, but it's the almond bark. That was all gone. No Chester's. I was like, who's been here? Somebody I know has been here and bought everything that I need. And I'm sure Chester's is like, why don't we have a run on this stuff every December? Okay, so now take your, these are strips of basic black that are three quarters, three quarters of an inch. And I'm just gonna overlap them like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna just kind of snip them a little bit shorter. Oh, that was a little bit shorter. We'll go a little bit shorter. Okay, then we've got two of these little guys that were, these are also in the, the same die set. The stocking dies is what this die set is called. So we'll put that right there. And then where did my star go? Here it is. We've got a little star. I like to send that puff corn, the crack corn as, as I lovingly call it, to school in giant tubs because the teachers go crazy. Um, one year, Addie's teacher sent the tub back empty and asked for a refill. <laughs> it was so funny. She was like, yes, this is delicious. All right, now let's put, see how we just did that? Easy, simple um, dimensionals on the back. 
if you guys are looking for the recipe, Robin, I know I, I didn't check. I've bought it online before, but I needed it like today, today and tomorrow because, um, you know, it's the end of school and I wanted to send it by Thursday or Friday. And I, if I order it, Walmart takes forever with their shipping. I need to, I need it locally. I asked my husband, he was going to go do a little more running around today for me because he loves it too. And I make it for his customers. Okay. So Elaine, go to my blog in the search bar, the, you know, have a little search thing at the top, type in crack corn. I've posted the recipe several times and it'll come up. Okay. So remember the little hat that we did earlier, that's going to go right there. And then the little present is going to go right here. And then last but not least, we've got a white stitched. Oh, I don't think I put this on the supply list. Stitched label. This is from the Tasteful Label Dies. Kim, but how much? Isn't it like $6 a bag or something? I mean, it's usually like $1.50 a bag. I did look on Amazon, but I didn't want to pay that much. So I need like six or eight bags of it. I mean, it literally, what is it, $1.99 a bag? It's really cheap. You use the cheddar, Laurie? And it's caramel flavored? Really? Okay, I may have to give that a try. That sounds odd, but then it also sounds like, hmm, that might work. Oh, thanks, Robin just posted the link to the crack corn. Andrea, it went up to 29. Oh, inflation. It'll, it's going to get us all, isn't it? Okay, I put this down to, hold on. Hold, please. Let me peel that up because I put that dimensional down too far. See, I knew if I asked you guys, you would help me find it. Let me see. Um, yeah, Robin just shared the link. Yeah, it can. $8 a bag. Amazon, I'm sorry. I give Amazon a lot of money, a lot of money, but I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to pay on my dollars a bag. Ugh. That's just, ugh. I went to H-E-B, Patsy, that I went today. I went today early after I dropped my, my daughter off. They didn't have it, none. They didn't have the cheese either. Ugh. I'm looking. You have a new Dollar General store, Karen, huh? Yeah, you guys do not buy it on Amazon. Eight dollars, that is that is extortion. That is terrible. Eight dollars a bag. Go to your local gas station. You'll find it for two bucks. Okay. <laughs> I know, we had a little squirrel moment. Look at my roof. It's very off-centered. Look at it compared to that one. What happened? Something happened. <laughs> it's very off-centered. You guys didn't tell me. Let me see if I can fix it. Of course, I use the big dimensionals. Ugh. No, I'm going to have to make a new roof. Darn it. Well, darn it. Okay, let's not look at that one. Let's look at that one. <laughs> when you put your roof on, turn it around and make sure that the point matches that point. That's what I did not do because I was so busy talking. All right, there you guys go. You got a new recipe. You got two new project ideas. You could put a little tiny bag of puff corn in here, although I will tell you that will not be enough. That will, they will, that will not be enough. We call it crack corn for a reason because you cannot stop eating it. All right, you guys, that's it for today. Um, tomorrow, the Arctic Bears. I've got two really, really cute projects. Let me give you a little sneak peek. Somebody last year asked me about these, if I, had a, if I had a box for these and I didn't. Well, tomorrow we're using the polar bears with the Coca-Cola Tic Tacs. Because of course, remember the polar bear Coca-Cola commercials? That's the first thing that popped in my mind. Okay, you guys, we're done. Don't forget, all orders between now and Christmas will earn that little gift package. Let me show you one more time. Looks like this, you'll get a pack of handmade cards that, um, Bedazzle paper and a little pink buckaroo oven mitt because it's so darn cute. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Make sure you click the link. Go check my blog for the measurements, which I will correct in just a minute. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.